welcome or welcome back to Penny's Two Cents. It's your girl Penny and today I have my father with me. Hi everyone. Guys, we are trying Ethiopian food for the very first time and I'm super excited about it. Super excited about it. I can't even get it out. Dad, what do you think about trying Ethiopian food? It's something different. It's, it's something, something different. It's something very different for both of us, okay? Um, I have been thinking about trying Ethiopian food for years, guys. One of my friends mentioned it a long, long time ago. I'm saying probably 20 years ago. And she told me she liked Ethiopian food. And I was like, what did you get there? She said, oh, vegetables and this and that. And I'm like, well, that don't sound interesting. But I saw some videos on YouTube of people trying Ethiopian food. And ever since then, I have been wanting to try it. And today is the day we are trying it. We're trying it. Right. So guys, we just want to be very clear. This is new to us. And we don't want to disrespect anybody. Okay? If you love Ethiopian food, or if you're Ethiopian, and this is your cuisine, we're not disrespecting you in any way. If we like it, we like it. If we don't, we don't. You know, it's the same with you guys eating American food or Polish food or German food. It's, you know, it, you don't know until you try, right? So I am right. super excited to try this. Guys, we got it from a place called Ibex Ethiopian Restaurant. I'll put the name of it up here and the address. It's in the Columbus, Ohio area. Um, I believe they only have one place. It's a... You know, it's a privately owned place. But like I said, I'll put the name of it up here. I'll tell you what we got real quick. And I'm not an expert, okay? But I know this is a vegetarian combo, okay? So you're probably wondering, what's this brown thing out here? This is their bread. Um, they eat their stuff with, with bread. And it's called injera bread. Injera. Let's see if I can get that right. But it's a fermented bread. It's supposed to be spongy and a little fermented. But anyway, this is different vegetables, cabbage, lentils. I don't know, but we're going to try it, okay? Now, I do know what the main part of this is. This is beef tibs. And I was told beef tibs has onions, jalapenos, tomatoes, rosemary, and some other seasonings. So I got that. And I, I just picked things that I thought maybe we would like. I don't know, you know? If you like Ethiopian food, please comment below. Would you want to try this stuff? Or if you know about Ethiopian food, I should say, please comment below, what's your favorite Ethiopian dish? Okay, because if we really like this, I would like to do it again. So, Dan, are you kind of interested yeah. in this? Yeah. I'm kind of interested, but I'm also scared at the same time. Now, guys, we are filming this the day before Super Bowl, okay? And you're going to see this video Super Bowl day, okay? So it's, it's Saturday right now. Right. Tomorrow is Sunday, which is Super Bowl. Please let us know. Who's going to win the Super Bowl? Who do Kansas you, City. Dad thinks Kansas City. So I asked Dad, neither one of them are his team, really. I just asked him, like, if you were really going to bet a bunch of money on, a, on one of those teams, he said probably Kansas City. Kansas City's up and down. Yeah. <laughs> They're all over. Yeah. Well, hey. You never know. Let us know. Who's your pick for the Super Bowl? I would like to know that. Okay, this injera bread is very interesting, guys. I put it on a paper towel. It feels kind of dampish, but I wanted to show this to you. Can you see the holes in it? Dad, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to tear a little piece of this off. I just want to get a baseline. I want to know what this bread tastes okay. like. So I'm just going to give you a little piece of this bread, and we're going to try it, okay? Now, like I said, it's spongy, and it's got like a little vinegary taste. Yeah, it's a new taste. It's like a uh, fermented taste, but it, it to, to me, it tastes like a spongy... It's chewy. Mm -hmm, a spongy pancake. It chews up. Mm -hmm, yeah, it's not hard. It's not like tough or anything. It tastes like a spongy pancake with like a little vinegar taste to it. So it's not bad, okay? It's not bad. It might go really good with these vegetables. Now, guys, don't come for me. You know, Dad, he, he has a vision loss, right? So I'm going to help him put this together. Normally, normally Ethiopian food, you tear off a piece of this bread and you squeeze off some food. But I'm going to help Dad out. So you, what you do is you take a piece of this bread. I'm going to get some of this. Dad, it looks like red cabbage almost. Okay. 
and don't eat it yet. Can you just hold on to it for a second? Because I want, I want to, okay. okay. Okay, let go, Day. Let go for a minute. Okay, just like that. Just okay. give me a second. Let me get my bite. I kind of want to do this together. Hold on, hold on, baby. Okay. Hold on. I know you want to try it, but... Okay, let's try this together. Ready? A little sweet. We got a little tart, a little sour from the bread. That's not bad. That's not bad. No, it ain't bad. It's not bad. Um, I want to get a drink. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not like, oh gosh, I can't have that again. It's not spicy. It's like cabbage. I don't know what all they got in it. It's kind of good. It's got a little sweetness to it. Guys, if you're wondering what I'm having to drink, it almost looks like beer. It's not. It is. Um, I got these at Aldi. It's Wicked Grove Hard Cider. The one I'm drinking right now is Bellini. It is a peachy flavored. It's very good. It's not too sweet. So it's very good. It's kind of light and bubbly. So in case you ever wonder, that's what I'm drinking. Okay, Day. I thought I was kind of pleased with that. No Let's try some of these beef tibs. So this is beef and onions and jalapenos and so okay. This okay, so just kind of like hold. I don't know the easiest way. Just kind of hold that for a minute right now, okay? okay? Let me get my bite. Cause I like to try it together. I feel like it's fun when we can try it together. Okay, ready, set, go. Mm. Okay. It's like, um, I taste the jalapeno, but it's not super spicy. Um, I also heard there's rosemary in this. I think I taste a little rosemary. You taste the tomato. That's not bad. Also, it reminds me of something. It kind of reminds me of like a, um, a Mexican, like, um, steak fajitas at a Mexican restaurant. That's what it kind of reminds me of. That is pretty darn good. I'm wanting to know what that thinks about it. Now, beef tips, these are beef tips. You can get lamb tips or you can get chicken tips. I think chicken tips would be very good too. We might have to try the chicken one sometime. What do you think of that day? Now, the beef has got a little chew to it, and I think that's probably what he's still working on. The beef's got a little chew to it, it's little chunks of like. Yeah. It's little chunks of like steak like or like roast beef but it's like chunks it tastes well, all right um, i mean there's nothing that can't that you wouldn't spit out right um does it remind you of something it kind of reminds me of almost like um i don't know there's something else that reminds me of i'm not really sure the bread throws me off throws me off of what uh what i'm getting let's try these are yellow lentils i think so just hold on to this okay just hold on to it let me get, okay. let me get my bite hold on i'm not ready hold on okay okay let's go it tastes like um bean okay almost like a chunky refried bean but it's got a little sweetness to it too. And then you taste that little tang of the bread. That's not bad either. It really yeah. isn't. I don't know, man. I mean, it's not, it. I'm trying to like figure out what we like, we're gonna like the most or what we're, you know. Okay. This next thing I think is um, potato and carrot medley is what they're calling this. Okay, day. So, give me a second here. I'm, I'm okay. I'm having okay. issues. I'm having issues with this one. Let me get you another one. This one's kind of like falling apart. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Okay, it's gonna bend here. Okay. Okay, let's go. Got it on the floor. That almost tastes like sauerkraut. But it's got a little sweet too. I think the carrot's a little sweet. Mm-hmm. Almost tastes like our sauerkraut. Um, the cabbage, that is cabbage, okay? So that is, I think maybe that's just cabbage. I think that's just cabbage and, um, yeah. It's got a little sweetness to it, but it tastes a little bit like sauerkraut to me, does it to you? It does to me too. That's a little kinda, sweet. That's kind of good. I don't know what's that called. I don't know. Let us know, guys. That's really good. I kind of like that. Okay. Um, I'm running out of ideas of what this other stuff is. I'm afraid that maybe one might be a hot sauce and you're supposed to mix it. Well, I don't know. So we're just we're gonna go with the same thing here. I'm not sure what this is, Day. I just put a little pinch on there because I'm afraid. Yeah, that's spicy. Okay, that's spicy. I think that's meant for like you add it to like the beef, you know what I mean? Or you add it to like, yeah. yeah, I mean, but that's a vegetable plate. I mean, some people probably eat it just like that, but I almost feel like it would be good, like added to something else. That's got a good taste too, though. Um, I don't know what it's made out of. It's got a bean, a lentil or something in it, but it's got some spice to it, doesn't it? Uh, uh, really? How spicy is it to you? It's like, um, it's a little warm in the back of my throat. It's like like medium spice, okay? It's not super hot. It's got some spice to it. It's got some flavor to it. It's like a bean. It is, it is bean. Some, bean. Sort, some sort of bean, like a lentil or something. I don't know, guys. I don't know, but I am. Th this is fun. This is fun because, like Dad said, we really haven't tried anything that was, like, horrible or... It's or... different, uh, different taste. Okay. It's a different taste. Okay, so hold on to this. Let me get mine, okay? Hold on. Okay. Give me a second. Give me a second. Hold on. Okay. Okay, let's go. That's got like tomato in it. That's got a little spice in it too. It's got a little tomato in it. It almost reminds me of like a... It's got a bean. It's made of bean, I think, of some kind. It's got a little spice to it. It's about medium spice. That's good, guys. I don't know what that is. Please let us know if you know what some of this stuff is. Like, I know that's lentils. I'm pretty sure that's cabbage. I'm pretty sure that that's some kind of cabbage and potato and carrot thing. But I don't know what these two brown things. One's more redder, one's darker. Give me a potato. And I want to see the taste of potato. Well, I think that was the sour, crowdy one. I'm not really sure, Day. I... <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'm just guessing. Okay. I was just reading what I might... The thought what stuff was. I got an idea. Let's do some meat. Okay. I got an idea. I want to try to do like a little bit of meat and maybe a little bit of this spicy. I'm going to do the same thing for me. Okay, so just hold on to it for a second, okay? Okay. Okay, you got to get your whole finger around it. There you go. Now give me a second. Let me get my. Okay. Hold on. I'm not ready yet, babe. Hold on. Okay, here we go. That's quite good. Because you get a little bit of spice with your meat and stuff. Mm -hmm. That's kind of good. It's got a good mix. I don't know what we're eating, guys, but it's good. I know this is beef. You know what I mean? I'm not... There's the napkins over there, dude. This one, I was wanting to keep to put something down if you needed to. Um, you can tell that this is beef, okay? It's the vegetable part. Like, I know that's lentils, but, man, I don't know what's in it, but it's good. This is very fun, okay? So, I recommend this. I recommend this for a family that's very venturesome. You know, even if you got kids that eat vegetables or meat or whatever. I recommend this. You know, get a couple things, you know, put them out on the table and try it. Try it. I mean, wow. I mean, 
It's not going to go to waste. It, it, I mean, I can eat any of this. What do you think is your favorite thing, Dad? Probably the sauerkrauty like thing. I like this. That uh, cup. That you just gave me. Oh, okay. So that was the beef tips and in in this spicy vegetable thing yeah. mixed together. But I'm thinking, I don't know. Let's let's take another bite of this. Uh, like I I think it tastes like sauerkraut. Just go ahead and eat it. Cause okay. We're, we've already done this one, Dad. Okay, open up your fingers, honey. There we go. This is the one. It kind of tastes like it reminds me. Oh, it reminds me of like sauerkraut. It's okay. Just throw it on this. Just throw it on this napkin. It's got a little sweet to it, and then you got that little tang from that bread, and it's got like that sauerkraut chew, like the cabbage yeah. chew. I'll get this thing. I'll yeah. get this. That's okay. Um, I don't know. That's pretty good. Like vegetable wise, I like that, and I kind of like this uh, this red. I don't even know what this red stuff is. I'm starting to get full already. From this bread. Let me know. Okay, we just ate that one that's like sauerkraut. Let's try this like red cabbage one. Let me know which one you like better. Okay. This one or the this one I'm giving you right now. Just go for it. Okay. You're okay. Go ahead. Go ahead and go. Napkin. Don't worry about whatever falls down there, falls down there. I'll back them it up. Which one do you like better? Out of those two things. This one's a little tangier. I like both of those. Whatever they are, I really, really like both of those. They use, they use a lot of different uh, flavors. Yeah, uh, but it's not like, yeah. Rosemary and yeah, I think there might yeah, and I think there might be some cardamom, cardamom, cardamom. I can't say that. I think there might be some cardamom in there. There might be even in the meat or whatever. There might be a little bit of cinnamon or something. Um, but those two cabbage things are pretty good, don't you think? Those last two things, like they're, vegetable they're wise, pretty good. yeah, they're pretty good. They got, they just remind me of like our sauerkraut. They're not as strong as our sauerkraut, right? They got that chew of the of the of the cabbage. I tell you what, the they they cook the sauerkraut good, uh, cabbage good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not like overly done, and it's still got a little bit of a chew, but it's cooked. Man, I'm starting to get full. You want some more of this beef? Well, I don't know. Yeah. What I'm starting to get full. <laughs> you want some of that beef and some of that warm stuff on it, like yeah, I did that one time, yeah. the second time? Yeah. A little bit of a mix. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of a mix. Okay. Bring your finger. Yep, there you go. Just go for it. Stick it in. Oh, I'm getting full. The bread, guys. It's the bread, I'm telling you. This is fun, guys. This 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 is truly fun. I'm glad we tried it. Um, are you kind of glad we tried it, Daddy? Yeah. Okay. Um, when I first told Dad I wanted to try Ethiopian food, he was kind of like, I don't know. I don't know if I'll like that. And I'm like, I don't know if I'll like it either. Um, now, if I was going to... I think uh, the taste... The first of all... The amount that you put right in your mouth is is you want to revolt it, re, revolt it. Well, because you don't know what you're. You don't know what you're putting in your mouth. Right, right. It I, is. Okay, so I understand. I am. I, I know I'm not breaking in on you, Dad, but I kind of understand. So if you thought about being blindfolded and someone handed you this and you ate it, you don't know at first what you're eating because you can't you know you didn't see it at first right and I kind of understand that because I can see it but I still don't know all the all, all that's in it okay but it's really fun um I excuse me excuse it's, me it's very tasty yeah 
I, I think it's a different kind of taste. Okay. It's a different kind of taste you put in your mouth. Right. I would have to say, I bet you, Dad, we're gonna have to try Indian food because I almost feel like Dad likes would like this better than Indian food because I feel like this has flavor, but I feel like this is a little more, a little more what we're used to. And I think some of the Indian stuff is a little further out of our flavor profiles or whatever. I think Dad might have a problem with some Indian food. But I do want to try Indian food on him. Do you want another bite? I'm getting full. No, no, I didn't have a plan. Yeah, the, the bread is getting to me. The bread is filling me up. But guys, this is really fun. I'm really glad we tried it. Um, I do have a couple questions for Dad. You would have you would have never tried this if I hadn't asked you to no, try it. No, I wouldn't have. Okay. So. I wouldn't have tried it. No. I'd be honest with you. Yeah, you wouldn't have tried it. Um, so that's the next question. Are you glad you tried it? Yes, I am. Uh, I, I, I can talk about it and be reasonable with what, is, what it tastes like. Yeah, like if somebody somebody said, hey, have you ever had Ethiopian food before? I'd be like, yes, I have. You know, and you could tell them that you had like beef and you had like a vegetarian combo stuff. You tried all that and all of it was fairly good. I mean, there wasn't anything here that we ate that it, it, that was not bad. It, that was not, bad, you know. It's not bad. Yeah, it's not, not bad in your mouth. No, no. Um, not a bad taste in your mouth. So I guess that's what we're saying is I recommend if you've always wanted to try Ethiopian food, I recommend it, guys. Try it. Now, it can be a little expensive, but I feel like we got a lot here. I mean, these these, these um, to-go boxes are heavy. So they put enough in here. You saw me and Dad. Two more people could eat off in this. Four people could eat off in this. So I think, I think two people off in each dinner could eat and be plenty full. Um, but this was fun. I really enjoyed it. What's our next thing, guys? You think you should? Do you think we should try Indian food next? Let us know, and let me know. What are you guys having for Super Bowl? I think we're just gonna eat some. I got some appetizer stuff up in the freezer. That might even be our video the next day after the Super Bowl, which will be our Super Bowl day. But um, what are you having for uh, Super Bowl Sunday? What, what foods are you having? Are you making this big dinner? Are you doing appetizers? Or are you ordering pizza? What are you doing? Let us know. We would like to know. Okay, Deb. The seasoning is this. This is a lot different than what we used to. Oh, yeah. And uh, and uh, we're, we're glad we tried. Mm -hmm. We tried it. And we recommend you try it, yeah, too. Yeah, if you've always been interested, go ahead and try um, seasoning wise, what we got, um, most of that vegetable stuff is not uh, spicy. Now the two, like there was like a reddish and a brownish, it almost looked like beans or like almost like um, refried beans almost. Those had a little spice to them in the medium range. Even this had jalapenos in it, the steak and stuff, but by itself it wasn't too spicy. Don't worry about that. Okay. Thing. It wasn't too spicy. So, I mean, give it a shot. Give it a shot, it guys. Was, it was very tasty, yeah. and uh, it is different than what you put in your mouth. Yeah. It's a different seasoning. Yeah. Uh, but it, it blends all together, and it tastes fairly decent. Now, you, uh, I sat here, and I watched uh, they eat these roast beef and tips, Beef tips. And uh, beef tips. Yeah. And they taste pretty good. Yeah, they do. The, the seasoning. Yeah. And the bread. I don't know about the bread. I don't know. Uh, well, I mean, it goes with it. It, I mean, it goes with it. But anyway. So, yeah, guys. It, it really does go with it. Yeah. It really does. So, and let's I could, I could say what I would do. It's just different, okay? Yeah, it's just it's different. different. But we liked it, okay? So anyway, guys, we're going to let you go. We hope you all have a great lunch, a great dinner, or a great late night snack. But most of all, guys, we hope you have a great day. A great day and a better tomorrow. And God bless you all. Yes, guys. God bless. Come back tomorrow.
see what we're eating. See what we're reviewing. See if we like it or not. Until tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.